for you to take a big step in the right direction today. It's just a slow process getting back to brighter conditions. In fact, this morning still starting off kind of overcast and even damp where you may occasionally need a little swipe of your windshield. It is cool as we head out and begin the day. Want to talk first about Alberto getting this uh, hurricane season started early here along the Gulf Coast of the United States uh, with the start of hurricane season officially June 1st, but it's not that unusual for us to get a first named storm prior to that June 1st date. And that's certainly what's happened this year. You can see the uh, spin around the center of this area of uh, subtropical storm conditions, 65 mile per hour sustained wind. So even though it doesn't have all the characteristics of a tropical storm, it has the wind and it'll bring the storm surge and heavy rain to the Gulf Coast from Florida up through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and then lifting up into the uh, Gulf Coast and eventually the Tennessee Valley. And from there, it'll move up to the west of us over the Great Lakes region, and that happens through the middle and end of the week. It gets caught up with the storm system by Thursday into Friday that'll be slowly pushing to the east, and that's when we'll start to see our rain chances going back up. But next few days, as the clouds clear out today, we get into the upper 60s, and then a big time warm up Tuesday, Wednesday looking much warmer than normal, too. In fact, tomorrow will feel like a late July day again. Newport Harbor, it it went from uh, feeling like summer Saturday to a chilly fall day feeling outside uh, there. And we're starting off still with the gray skies in the capital city. 51 north northeast winds at 10 miles per hour. The humidity is still running quite high. It's 49 in Smithfield right now. Boston's at 50 51 in Providence and on live Doppler radar. Not much organized shower activity left over. We've had a couple of uh, lighter showers and drizzle. That's all heading east under still a northeast wind. Our skies are cloudy to begin this morning. Is this storm drifts away and uh, we'll get into some warming conditions. It's a process though to get there. So through the morning, expect to see cloudy skies. This is 930. So if you're headed to one of our area ceremonies or parades, you want to dress for a chilly start this morning. Clouds start to break up in the afternoon. Kind of partial sunshine for the second half of the day, clearing out to a very nice evening. If you have plans to be out and about this evening, maybe catching that laser light show at Roger Williams Park, you're going to see beautiful conditions for that. We'll be into the 60s and we'll fall into the 50s overnight tonight. A little bit of coastal fog, but that'll be short lived on Tuesday. For your future cast temperature wise, 930 in the morning, we're still in the 50s. So you'll need a jacket, a sweater, even uh, maybe a windbreaker for the morning hours and getting up to near 60 by lunchtime. Warmest part of the day will be four and five o'clock this afternoon. That's when we hit these highs. 69 in Wickford and Hope Valley, lower 60s along the coastline, upper 60s to near 70 in Kent County and Providence County. And we'll be up in the upper 60s in Seekonk, New Bedford, near 67. Out on the bay today, if you're trying to get in a little boat ride, didn't get that in yesterday, northeast winds turn to the southeast today at about 5 to 10 knots, the wave height 1 to 2 feet, and we've got a high tide just before 8 a.m. this morning, low tides at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And there are those evening conditions for you, as I mentioned, getting better and better with each passing hour this afternoon and this evening. And speaking of the temperatures tomorrow, mid 80s, and it's not just a warm day, it's a muggy day. So that heat index tomorrow will be well up into the 80s to possibly even near 90 for a few hours in the afternoon. So unfortunately, mm -hmm timing there for folks that will be heading back to work yeah. in school. It'll be a little uncomfortable in those